This cold email campaign strategy has resulted in over $4.7 million in revenue for our clients. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you live how to execute every single step. So make sure that you stick around for the entire video because even missing a single step could result in a collapse in your conversions. Now, it doesn't matter if you run an SMA, a product development company, or a SaaS, this cold email campaign strategy can be applied to any niche so long as you tweak it to your own. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first step of the campaign strategy is gonna be coming up with a killer offer. You wanna craft your offer in a way that your prospects feel silly saying no to it. And I'm gonna assume that prior to going through with this first step, you've already got your cold email inbox account set up. If you don't, don't worry. Just check the description below where I've got a lead magnet that actually shows you a step-by-step -step video where it walks you through setting up all the accounts so you can do it yourself. Now, for this specific example, I'm gonna walk you through what we did for one of our SEO clients who is selling premium backlinking services to SaaS companies. If you're not familiar with that industry or niche, it's super saturated, so we needed to come up with a couple of unique mechanisms and really provide value to get our prospects on the hook and make them want to schedule meetings. But this campaign has been killer for us for months now, and our client has been able to close three to four clients every single month at a premium backlink uh, service cost, resulting in over $20,000 every single month and one happy client. So just walking into the scripts here, I've written a four-step cold email campaign sequence, and I've also used split testing. If you're not sure what split testing is, it essentially gives you the ability to test different variations of messaging to see what gets more attention from your prospects. And I'll walk you through here because we did a couple of different examples, but just jumping into email 1A, this is the first message that we're reaching out to them. We like to lead with pain. We know that these software companies oftentimes are just having difficulty getting eyes on their company. They're not visible when people search for them on Google. And as an SEO company, that's what they're there to help companies do. They help them rank higher on Google. So the first thing that we wanted to do in our reach out was lead with pain. And as you can see, I was searching for company name and had some difficulty locating your brand on Google searches. I'm sure other users might have a similar experience. Right there, we're poking the bear, getting their attention. And with our first message, rather than going and pitching right away, we wanted to lead with value, get them intrigued. So we led with pain, and now we're offering value by saying, if you send me your top three competitors, I'll give you the keywords that they're outranking you on and prepare a competitive takedown strategy to get you to the top page of Google. Right away, that is attention grabbing. If they're interested, now we've gotten their attention by poking the bear with the pain in the first sentence, but then now we're leading with value. So if they have interest, they could send us their top three competitors. Odds are they're gonna know where these competitors are outranking them on, and that tends to do really well. Open to sharing, just a call to action. Uh, and then if we look on to the second variant, so this is still the first email, just a different message and different angle that we're taking. Are you worried your sales team isn't getting enough high quality leads to work each month? So again, leading with pain. And now we actually go in with the pitch, what we actually do and how we could help. With our specialized approach of creating contextually relevant links, we can drive 30 to 50 more high quality leads to your sales team's calendar every month by providing high authority backlinks. Domain authority is basically the domain reputation and how it ranks on Google of a 70 plus. For relevant keywords, like and here this is actually going to be in step three where we're actually going to show you a little this is just a sneak peek of what it looks like when writing scripts but in the following step so make sure to stay on for this we're going to show you how to use ai to actually pull information from the prospect's websites so that it's extremely relevant and it makes it look like we went through each of these leads one by one and pulled an information that was relevant from their website. Then right after our offer, then we mentioned a case study. So we helped Prophecy, an MDM company, increase website traffic by 542% over the last two years without spending a penny on ads. That's the risk reversal here. So we showed what we helped them achieve and we showed the risk reversal that it's not costing them much money. And I'm confident we can help your company too. And then with the call to action, in this case, we're using the same one from the first message. If you share your top three competitors, I'll give you the keywords that they're outranking you on and prepare a competitive takedown strategy. Open a sharing, strong call to action. So here we're telling them how we can help them after we're poking the bear with the pain on the first message. And then we go on to list a case study that's proof that we've worked with somebody that's similar to them. And then we lead with value by saying, if they offer us three competitors, we'll put together a competitive takedown strategy to show them where their competitors are outranking them on. Jumping on to email two now, we've also used that clay personalization, the AI tool, which I'm gonna show you in step three. But here we're we're jumping straight into the pitch. We can rank your business on the first page of Google's for keywords like X, Y, and Z, which are pulled from their website using AI, driving 30 to 50 more qualified demos to your sales team's calendar as a result with our SaaS SEO growth system. That's our unique mechanism. And we want to differentiate ourselves just from being an SEO company by saying that we specialize in the SaaS industry and we know what keywords we want, we can get you ranked on just as ideas to show them that we did our research. Here, we jump into the case study by showing a graph of the results that we've actually been able to generate for one of our own clients who's similar to them. We helped Prophecy and MDM company increase website traffic by 
72%. Over the last two years without spending a penny on ads, that's the risk reversal, and I'm confident we can help your company too. Are you opposed to exploring this over the call? That's the call to action. Email 2B, have you recently thought about company names, organic growth strategy? Just piquing some interest. A lot of software companies we work with have trouble getting inbound leads via search, whether it's because of off topic keywords or hyper competitive SEM placements. Our approach to SEO is unique. So this is our unique mechanism. We focus on creating contextually relevant links that help you rank for the keywords that matter most to your business. We recently helped Key Factor, so here's another case study now, net 356% increase inbound lead flow through Google, and I think we can replicate it for you all. So again, here, we're showing them what we can do by demonstrating our offer. We're providing a case study and now the call to action, world's worst idea, catching up a bit, uh, chatting a bit on this to see if we can help out. Jumping into email three. Now, the first two emails are always gonna be the most important. You wanna make sure that you're putting all the nuggets in there because that is your best chance of getting them on the hook. Uh, but email three here, assuming you're fairly busy, is there someone else who handles growth, SEO, marketing? That's just some spin tax, which I'll show you once we're on step four at company name that I should be reaching out to. So now we're basically saying, look, if you're not the person I should be speaking to, who is it? And they'll either tell you who that person is or they'll tell you that they're not interested because they actually are the right person. If nothing else, and now we're doing another call to action, one last uh, shot here at the audit. This audit will provide your company team with insights to benchmark existing search engine marketing strategies against. Talk to you soon. Email 3B, throwing a sense of humor in there. We always like to throw in Kermit the Frog. It gets a good laugh out of people and people will either say F off or sometimes they'll say, hey, uh, this really grabbed my eye. Yeah, I'm actually interested. Let's find some time to talk. And email four, this is the last step of the sequence. And I call it the Hail Mary because this is like 10 days later, typically seven to 10 days later. Maybe you just caught them at the wrong time. At this point, this is your last shot to get them on the hook. Might now be a better time to discuss how we can help you generate up to 42% more leads without spending a penny on ads using our SaaS SEO growth system. That's the scripts at a very high level. Wanted to get through that so I don't bore you to death, but essentially once you've crafted the offer, you've wrote your compelling scripts. Now it is time to build out a laser targeted lead list. You can write the best scripts of all time, but if you're not reaching out to the right people with this message, then your campaigns are gonna go flat and conversion rates are gonna sink. So the next tool we're gonna be walking through and what we've been using is a tool called ocean.io. We wanna use the case studies that we had called out in our scripts to find more companies that are lookalikes of those companies. That way it's super relevant that people know that we have worked with people that are almost identical to them and we've gotten killer results for them. So what I'll do here is I'll just go with prophecy because that is the case study that we mentioned for the most part. And now we can see 5,335 lookalike companies that are very highly relevant to prophecy. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull a lead list on these companies knowing that they're laser targeted, which brings me into step three. But essentially you grab the companies from this tool called Ocean you could go ahead and enrich that data with other databases like Apollo for super cheap, but essentially you wanna find the companies that you're reaching out to that are relevant, and then you enrich them in a different platform. They do have contacts in here just to let you know, but I typically do those elsewhere. Jumping into step three. So once you've gotten your lead list, laser targeted, it's gonna come in a CSV file. So here we could see, you know, the people, their LinkedIn profile, first name, last name, job title, company name, email address, location, all that good stuff. And here, what we're looking at is a tool called Clay. And Clay.com is one of the most incredibly powerful AI tools out there so that you can personalize your messages at scale. And in this case, I'm not sure if you remember from our scripts, but we had mentioned that we can get you ranked for this keyword, this keyword, and this keyword. We could either come up with a whole bunch of bogus or we could pull information from this prospect's website that's extremely relevant to them. So that way, you know, they can see that we've done our research. Little do they know that we're using AI to actually do the whole thing for us. So here, just to give you a quick example, you give it a prompt where essentially you would select enrich data and they have a tool called Clagent where you could press that button and you could give it instructions. So in our case, we said, can you pull three potential keywords that we could reach out to for our SEO services offer. And now the results are crazy. It actually gives you a couple of different variations of different results that you could pick from. So in this case, you know, we had selected our winner, but it gave three different keywords set squadron data services, data management solutions, enterprise data strategy. And you essentially just run that list through all of the prospects that we had pulled from. So all 5,457 of these prospects are going to get a hyper relevant keyword that is specific to them because we used AI to pull it from their website. So that's the end of step three. The last piece is just putting it all together where you don't wanna be sending these emails out manually. You wanna use an email sending software to automate the process for you. So jumping into Smartly, it's my favorite email sending software. What we'll do is we'll take that finalized CSV file, we'll import it right over here, which will capture all the leads. And then you wanna copy and paste your scripts into the sequence sending tool. 
Now I've added a couple of other extra steps in here. I didn't want to walk through all of those here, but essentially you can build out your campaign sequence with all the different steps. You could separate these. So I like to do four, the first message, then four days later, the second message. Uh, the third message is going to be three days after that. And then the Hail Mary is typically six to 10 days after that. And then we can go ahead and take a look at the previews. So now taking the data from the scripts that we wrote, the data that we pulled using AI to enrich all that data, this is what the final version looks like. Visiting, visiting your website and noticed a few things that may be causing you to rank lower on Google. With our SaaS growth system, we can rank your business on the first page of Google for relevant keywords like squadron data services, data management solutions, and enterprise data strategy, driving 30 to 50 more organic leads to your website as a result. Now, instead of jumping straight for the meeting, again, we're leading with value. If you send me your top three competitors, I'll give you the keywords that they're outranking you on and prepare a competitive takedown strategy to get, to get you on the top page of Google open a sharing and you could essentially just go through all the different steps here, see what the campaign looks like live, set up your sending schedule to figure out how many messages do we want to send out a day. And that's really it. It's a four step strategy that we've been using. And as I mentioned, it's generated over $4.7 million in revenue for our clients. If you're a business owner of any company that sells B2B products or services, and you want this done completely for you. So you can have eight to 12 qualified sales meetings every single month with people that you actually want to work with, then check the link below, book a call in with us here at buzzlead and uh let's see if we can help out thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one